Welcome to NZ Pocket Guide, New Zealand's largest travel guide. Visit nzpocketguide.com for thousands of tips, hidden gems, and ways to plan the perfect trip in New Zealand. This is a readout of an article available for free on the website. Check out the link in the description and let's get started. The Foodie Guide to New Zealand How to plan a foodie trip to New Zealand Satisfy your appetite by making your trip to New Zealand revolve around food. You wouldn't be the first to travel to New Zealand for its flavors, which has taken a cultural revolution over the past 20-odd years. The country is a melting pot where menus are influenced by its diverse migrant population. That's not to say that you can't find tradition in New Zealand. Local artisans are eager to share their passion for winemaking, beekeeping for manuka honey and brewing craft beer through hands-on foodie experiences. Not to mention invite visitors to cultural encounters like a Māori hāni. So, plan your gastronomical getaway with this complete foodie guide to New Zealand. New Zealand Resources – How to Plan a Trip How to get there New Zealand is a country on the Oceania continent in the South Pacific Ocean. Direct flights are available from the US, Canada, South America, Asia, Australia and the South Pacific Islands. When to visit, New Zealand is a year-round destination. Summer runs from December to February, autumn from March to May, winter from June to August and spring from September to November. What to pack? See our site for the complete New Zealand packing list. Currency, New Zealand dollars. Size, 268,021 square kilometers, 103,483 mi2 in total. It is approximately 1,600 kilometers, 990 miles, long and around 400 kilometers, 250 miles, at its widest point. Getting around, choose between car rental, camper van rental, public buses or bus tours with ferry, plane or train connections. Start planning with what is the best way to get around New Zealand. On nzpocketguide.com Time zone, UK slash GMT plus 12 Population, 5 million Learn more about New Zealand's population here. Languages, English, Māori and New Zealand Sign Language The best New Zealand food destinations Where should you travel to in New Zealand? First You'll need to decide on traveling either the North Island or the South Island, if you don't have the time to visit both. The North Island is the most populated, therefore offering the most diverse array of cuisines and foodie experiences. On the other hand, the fishing and hunting culture in the South Island is unmatched. Check out other factors that might determine your decision in our North Island versus South Island comparison. Once you've decided on an island, it's time to add dots on the map. Here are just a few of the foodie hotspots around New Zealand. North Island Auckland for its international flavours Tarana for its craft breweries Rotorua for its Māori cuisine Napier for its oldest wine region Wellington for its capital city eateries South Island Marlborough for its wine and green-lipped mussels Greymouth for its seafood delicacies Queenstown for its giant burgers and sweet treats. Christchurch for its farmers markets. Dunedin for its cheese rolls and chocolate factories. New Zealand food tours and experiences. New Zealand is all about experiences. Passionate locals encourage visitors to join them in hands-on experiences surrounding food, from in-depth brewery tours to preparing a traditional Māori hāni. The types of food activities available in New Zealand are Winery tours and tastings Craft brewery tours Farmers markets Chocolate factory tours Manuka honey visitor centres Fishing charters City culinary tours Orchard tours Cooking classes Pair these foodie activities with our 101 things to do in New Zealand and you have an epic trip to look forward to. Food experiences by destination Sometimes, just finding food tours and activities in the destinations that you have already decided to visit is the best way to plan your itinerary. Take a look at the article in the description to see what's going on where you are going, there's a ton of links to specific locations for you. Foodie accommodation 
Where you stay is all part of the foodie experience of New Zealand. Some establishments will serve their own fare while others offer self-catering facilities for you to get creative with local ingredients. Accommodation with meals and or restaurants. If your idea of hospitality involves being served local delicacies, then set your sights on some of the accommodations with a restaurant or meals available. New Zealand's largest towns and cities have a choice of hotels often coming with their own dining experiences. Self-catering accommodation. Making your own meals is super easy in New Zealand thanks to the abundance of self-catering accommodation. Motels, self-contained camper vans, holiday parks, hostels, holiday homes and homestays all commonly have a kitchen so you can spruce something up, perhaps with ingredients that you have picked up from the farmer's market? You'll also find that self-catering helps keep the costs down. The best places to eat in New Zealand It's the moment you've all been waiting for. What are the best restaurants in New Zealand? What are New Zealand restaurants like? Be part of New Zealand's prominent cafe culture where a flat white is how many Kiwis start their day. While fine dining is virtually exclusive to New Zealand's largest cities and luxury accommodations, the rest of the country enjoys a more casual affair with staples being fresh fish and chips and savoury pies. That's not to say that you won't find variety, as New Zealand's proximity to Asia means that Chinese, Indian, Thai, Vietnamese and Japanese cuisine is prominent and done well. Top restaurants and what to try. Te Puya, Rotorua to try Ahani. Ninsbin, Kaikoura to try Crayfish. Seafood Bazaar, Hamilton to try Kina. Ferb Burger, Queenstown to try a Kiwi Burger. Chibo, Auckland to try Pavlova. The Landing, Franz Joseph to try Whitebait. Giapo, Auckland to try Hokey Pokey Ice Cream. Marinovich's Seafood Restaurant, New Plymouth to try Power. Mount Bistro, Tauranga to try roast lamb. Fairly Bakehouse, Fairly to try a pie. Raglan Fish, Raglan to try fish and chips. Blue River Dairy, Sheep Milk Cafe, Invercargill to try Southland cheese rolls. How long to visit New Zealand for a foodie getaway? Allow around three to four weeks to comfortably see both the North Island and South Islands. Otherwise, Planning to visit just one island is a smart option for a one or two weeks getaway. One to two weeks in New Zealand. Within this time, you should explore just one of the main islands. It is possible to see both islands in two weeks, of course, by skipping some of the highlights along the way. Three to four weeks in New Zealand. Three weeks to a month is a preferable time to visit both islands in New Zealand. Pre-made foodie itineraries are available on nzpocketguide.com for free. The cost of food in New Zealand. Finally, how much will a foodie getaway cost you? New Zealand isn't exactly the place for cheap eats. Plus, a food budget can range from 20 New Zealand dollars per person per day if preparing your own basic meals all the way to over 100 New Zealand dollars per person per day if eating out for every meal. Here are some typical food prices. Main meal, 30 New Zealand dollars. Pint of beer, 8 New Zealand dollars. Small coffee, 4 New Zealand dollars and 50 cents. Fast food pizza or burger, 5 New Zealand dollars. 1 litre, 35 ounce, of milk, 2 New Zealand dollars and 40 cents. A dozen eggs, 5 New Zealand dollars and 40 cents. 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds, of rice, 2 New Zealand dollars. 500 grams, 1.1 pounds, of pasta, 1 New Zealand dollar and 20 cents. A loaf of sliced bread, 1 New Zealand dollar and 20 cents. 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds, cheese, 11 New Zealand dollars. 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, dry freeze coffee, 7 New Zealand dollars. 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds, of apples, 5 New Zealand dollars. 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds of bananas, 3 New Zealand dollars. 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds of tomatoes, 10 New Zealand dollars. 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds of onions, 2 New Zealand dollars. 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds of chicken, 13 New Zealand dollars. 1 kilogram, 2.2 pounds of beef mince, 13 New Zealand dollars. 
That's it for this article. Hit like and subscribe to say thank you and remember, this article is available for free on nzpocketguide.com, check out the link in the description. Plus, there are thousands of articles for you to plan the perfect New Zealand holiday.